What's girls? How you doing? Another bigger content today is going to be about what is the frustration. That could be interesting. That could be slightly, you know, triggering as always. <laughs> However, let's stay cool, right? Okay, so two pals and then we develop. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Hope you well. Here we go. Right. Let's do this. Okay, so that's cool. One, two, one. Two. Pile number one, what is the frustration? Two of cups, six of pentacles, queen of soul. Ow. Right. Well, obviously, <laughs> hmm, they would like to actually reconcile with you, be an item with you, um, work with you, associate themselves with you, one way or another. However, you're not happy about that and you have no intention to do that. Okay, the Queen of Swords is not outrageous. Um, that person, male or female always, no gender in tarot. It's all about someone who has an enormous amount of patience. But once you cross the line, you better run for your life, all right? Some point, that is it. That person has self-respect. You have self-respect. You just do not want to be treated that way. Uh, not always be respected if there's no boundaries all that kind of things that ain't gonna work mm -mm. but there's an idea of they you know they they play with fire for a long time and now well they go burn they're very frustrated about that but to be fair they know they deserve it they push their luck with you <coughs> excuse me okay so the solution is obviously to rebalance the whole relationship because there is um, someone giving a lot and the other one not enough. Obviously, they pushed it, as I say. Sorry, it's very hot. Um, so what the intention is, is obviously to rebalance it all and to give you as much as you give them. To pay you maybe for your worth and not squeezing you like a lemon if it's about work. Or to simply just respect you as you should be respected, period. And of course, love you as much as you know you love them. Period. Okay, so that was out of balance for a long time. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. King and Queen of, you know, sword. Maybe now you're giving them a taste of their own medicine and they don't like it. Because the King of Sword is someone that has truly feelings, butterfly in the stomach, the ocean bang. But they kept you at bay for a long time or they were very cutting and different seem indifferent but were not indifferent obviously within but on the outside they were very cold like ice was that the old kind of game you want to play mm -hmm. all right let me tell you how to do it and boom you went with the same thing so now oh boy they know they know you want to play that game i'm going to show you how to do it properly because i'm a master at it okay so that's going to be equal give and take but not in the way <laughs> they wished but they started it, you know, he started it. No, but it's true in some ways, you know, fine. However, there's way to work it out. Number eight, the door is always open between you two and there's new ways to make this work. It's outside of the box, it's um, new, new tools, new skills, new way, new vision, new perspective, whatever it is, you're both learning something different because you're gonna have to work it out. So they're frustrated right now because they, they haven't found a way to make it work. But they're going to make an offer. I think as well, uh, it seems to me that the, they, at the beginning it was love at first sight, maybe something really powerful that you knew you were the one, for example, for the job. They knew. But they had to deal with, you know, a lot of things on the side and they were not prepared to deal with it or handle it. But now they have the idea, okay, I have to come back with a proper offer this time. I can't just fluff around. Because you're worth it. Oh my goodness, you're so worth it. They should know better. Mm -hmm. Right, so at the end of the day, you know, the frustration is that you're giving them a taste of their own medicine and they don't like it, but they needed to actually learn it. Et voila. Right, okay, so part number two. <coughs> Excuse me, George is back. Temperance, three of wands, three of cups. Hmm. Well, well, well. It feels to me that from day one, they recognize you. They know that you are the final destination for them. How to get there, they have no idea. That is already a frustration in himself, right? No idea how to make it work. They definitely know 
that you are meant to be. You know, your, your angels, gods, unicorns, whatever you want to believe it. They're saying, okay, you are meant to be together. It's written. So you're kind of going toward the same direction in some ways. It's a very important thing to do is to actually balance the emotion. I think the emotion I might be a little bit, you know, like as the ones, you know, it's quite out there. It's very fiery, very feisty. I have the feeling as well, the frustration is a third party. Because they recognize you and you have number three twice. So in my opinion, they they feel the timing has been so wrong. I mean, how can I meet you now when I'm already taken in some ways? That is a frustration that's so, so dear in them because they can just see you just perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I know I will end up with you because I know it's written. But this is a very much a third party. Very, very much three people in that story. And that is a little bit much, isn't it? It's a bit busy. So... Yes, of course, they want to rush towards you. That maybe is an ideal world. I wish I could do that. Of course, it's an idea of coming together because it's like, you know, the yin and the yang. You don't have the yin without the yang. I mean, it just makes sense. You make sense, both of you together. But how do we get there? How do we do this? Holy Mother of God. They can see that you are perfection. It's a happy ever after the Ten of Cups. It's mom, dad, the children, the dog, the cats, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Excuse me, George is really here. <laughs> yeah, so obviously, that makes so much sense. The tarot is so logical, it's insane. Of course, they have to drop something. We know they have to drop the third party. But they have to drop as well. And it's not just, okay, one person, I have to make a choice between two and that's it. And one person has to go, right? Now, it's, it's not that straightforward. It's an inner work, that introspection. What part of myself do I have to let go of? There is a darkness, there is a heaviness, there is a toxicity they've been carrying on, on themselves for a long time. They didn't see it until they met you and that was like boom in their face. So it's an idea to have a self-discovery and self-respect, self-worth. If that person does this work of, you know, okay, I appreciate now that my true self is this way, this way, instead of that way, then they will be able to go to the top of the mountain and join you, opening, you know, the caps, which is the feelings, the emotion is opening the heart. But they have to go through that journey, that process that can be really difficult because they are aware now of the weight is being carrying very heavy when they were trying to elevate themselves, but they have a heaviness on them. Very, very tricky indeed. So, one more. Yeah, so at the moment, they're running away from their own emotion. That is very frustrating for themselves, not even for yourself. <laughs> of course, for you as well, like, hello. Um, but it's for themselves because, you know, maybe they don't know the solution, how to make this work. How they can see where they want to be and it's with you. They see the situation where they are at the moment and they don't see the way in between. So the best way to function, I would say, is to actually pretend no no I'm not feeling anything I'm not in love with that person because that is disturbing my balance or actually maybe that's revealing my new balance but how do I deal with that I have no idea yeah you are the star and it's about very much balancing the emotion I think I have that temperance as well yeah you know it's very much balancing the the, the emotion here they're gonna have to learn to do that because you are inevitable you know what I'm saying? You are the star, you are the light, light at the end of the tunnel. So they can't deny for much longer. They can try, but you already know all of that, don't you? Mm -hmm. And that's why it's frustrating for you as well. But you have the, you have the serenity within in some ways. If you sometimes you might have a bit of frustration for sure, but you have that knowing. I know it's happening. I just don't know when, but I know it's happening. You don't sit around next to the phone because you have a life to live, of course. But you kind of have that, you know, I've been around, I know, I know, it's okay, I know, you know. So that is the deal, you know, you have that knowing that keeps you at peace in some ways compared to them because they're in the middle of the situation themselves, obviously. Yeah, and they think as well that you are out of the league. They don't, I mean, for them, it's not just letting go of something that doesn't work for them anymore, but also appreciating, I deserve, you know, that true happiness. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I deserve to go with someone that is a goddess or a god. You know, I deserve all that love. I deserve to be, you know, appreciated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to go there. Absolutely. <laughs> there's a lot of frustration because obviously there's a lot of chemistry as well. So here you have it. But, you know, it's in the process. I want one more. I don't know why. Yeah. They're in the middle of uh, doing the work at the moment. They're not there yet, but they are revealing themselves to themselves. It's a lot of introspection, a lot of clearing they need to do within themselves. Not only recognizing their worth, what they're looking for in their life, who they want to be with, and what needs to be done. But at the moment, they're experiencing all those emotions because the truth is coming out. You triggered that truth it was meant to be it was supposed to happen is written so for you is just to have that knowing and just like carry on with your life knowing is happening okay on this note have a beautiful day and i see you tomorrow Mwah. ciao